What's going on? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Check this out. I have a huge surprise for you guys. And yes, it is finally coming down the pipe. We are going to be demoing the brand new Skag V Ride 2. Check this out. How cool is this? I'm hanging out here with Rich. Everybody say hey to Rich. What's hey going there. on, bro? This is my man Rich here. He is with uh, Pace, right? Yes. So he's uh, been gracious enough to drop off the Skag V-Ride 2. This has been a uh, couple months in the making. We were actually talking last fall. Yeah, trying to get it, but yep. you know what? It's waiting for production and uh, yeah. filling the pipeline. Now the grass is growing. We can finally cut some grass. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's funny. I couldn't get a demo last fall because you guys were literally buying them all. So they didn't have any to demo, which is crazy. The, uh, the season wrapped up, as you guys know. We took on winter. No big deal. It was an awesome time doing that. But now the grass is green. We're mowing grass. So we are back at it. So what we're gonna do here for just a few minutes is I want to uh, just have Rich kind of walk around the lawnmower and talk to you guys a little bit about the V-Ride 2. Most of you guys know I am a huge Xmark guy, a big Xmark fan. But you know what, I always joke, in about another year, I gotta get rid of my mower, I'm gonna be a free agent. Uh, we gotta either buy another Xmark or I'm looking at another brand. So what Rich is gonna do is talk to us about the V-Ride 2. V-Ride 2, we'll yep. make some comparisons with what changed from the V-Ride 1, okay. the original, to what changed to the V-Ride 2. Absolutely. All the improvements that have been made. Cool. And it's almost a completely different machine. Okay. But what didn't change is the Velocity Plus deck. Cool. That deck is still the same. You know, and it's, it's great for cutting, great striping, and great in wet grass. Okay. So let me just show you a few things about the Skag deck. You know, the nice thing about the Skag deck, Velocity Plus deck, whether it's on this V-Ride 2, whether it's on the Tiger Cat 2, whether it's on the Cheetah, whether it's on the Turf Tiger 2, it is the same deck. Sometimes bigger, sometimes smaller. Okay. Up to 72, we'll go down to, to a 48 on the Velocity Plus. But all the components I'm gonna show you is identical on that, to what we see right here. So what we have here on this V-Ride 2, we've got a 52 inch deck. 23 horse Kawasaki FX on this V-Ride. So a couple of things that make Skag very unique is that um, first of all, cutting in wet conditions, that discharge is 18 inches wide. So when you're cutting, cutting in wet grass, you know, as a contractor, you don't have you don't have the luxury of waiting till the grass is dry to, to cut. You sure. gotta be out there whether it's rain, whether it's thick, whether it's dew. When you're cut with a Skag Velocity Plus deck, it's not all of a sudden, poof, here comes a clump of grass. Right. This doesn't do it. Right. This deck doesn't clog. You get a really nice cut, a nice discharge, and great striping in all conditions. I, I wish we had the luxury of starting cutting grass at 9.30 every morning, right? But yeah, uh, we're right, out there at really. 7.30 and 8 when yeah, it's wet. That doesn't help. Absolutely. You know, anti-scalp rollers. Okay. You know, everybody uses anti-scalp rollers, but notice that on Skag, they're double gusseted. Okay. Not just captured on one side, and it's not welded right to the front of the frame. You know, accidents can happen. You, you whack this thing in a turn. You know what, you can at least take it off, straighten it, or replace it. Gotcha. The other thing on anti-scalp rollers is that this thing spins nice because it's, there's a bushing inside that roller. Okay. It's not just a hole inside a plastic wheel. Gotcha, beautiful. So a few other things that um, on this Velocity Plus deck that is um, that's very unique to Skag. Okay. Taper lock hub. This is a taper lock. Most manufacturers don't use a taper lock. The, the, the purpose of a taper lock is that if you ever have to take a pulley off of something that's been on there a while, okay. you put a puller on it and you trash the pulley. But with this taper lock, take those bolts out, put them in these holes, tighten it up, and it pulls it off for you. Cool. So in long haul, it saves you the money on replacing the pulley. Gotcha. Our spindle also, this is the original spindle that Skaggs used from day one. Okay. It's cast iron, Skag manufactures it himself, it's greasable right from the top. There's a poppet valve on the other side, so you can't pull the seals out. Okay. The old grease will purge out. And um, the other thing, the bearings, the bearings are, are uh, tapered bearings. It's not a roller bearing. And a tapered bearing is such, it, it's premium. It's cool. premium. So okay. They, you know, they're not going to cheapen something just to, you know what, save a couple bucks. Gotcha. Um, I have to I have to toss in there because this is a well built look. This is a well uh, built looking machine. I mean, everything looks very solid. It's all grade eight. Everything. It's shining right now. Obviously, it's clean, but it looks solid. That's that that's Skag. That's that's the, you know what? They're not going to skimp on it. 
I got to toss in there. I, now I understand why Blake and Kevin and all you other guys that uh, run all the skags and love the V-Ride, the V-Ride 2, the, uh, what's the big guy, the uh, Turf Tiger? Turf Tiger 2. Turf Tiger 2. We may check on one of those out this fall. Leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see more skag demos and other skag products, but uh, we might check out some more mowers from these guys. So, all right, let's keep going. All right. Just want to jump in there. What else we got? No problem. Idler arm. Now okay. look at the size of this thing. Now this bearing is greasable, but it's double stacked. Okay. Um, all four corners, you can see on the deck here, yep. these adjustments, you know, like I said, accidents happen. And if you whack this deck and it comes out of a, out of uh, uh, level, okay. you can put blocks underneath and instantly level this deck just like it came out of the factory, all four corners, Very, really quick, in the field even. Gotcha. Over here on trim pad, that's replaceable. Okay. And we talked about anti-scalp rollers. A little tough to see, but on the back here, there's two 12-inch rollers back there. Oh yeah, I see them. For anti-scalping. Yep. Helps for striping. And okay. more importantly, if your tailgate is on your on your trailer is too steep, mm -hmm. you don't catch the back of that deck and keep pulling it. I have done that with my X Mark. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, one of the things that's it's a little difficult to see here without lifting this is that. This has got an adjustable baffle underneath in the front here. Oh, I see. So that, that baffle adjusts in seven different positions, quarter inches at a time. Okay. So why would somebody want to adjust it? This, um, maybe in the fall, you're getting a lot of kickback on leaves coming up over the top of your up top of your deck. Sure. So if you lower that down, it changes the vacuum. Yeah. So instead of the blowout, yep. it creates more suction. Which again, I'm comparing to X mark in the front right corner, we get that blowout. There you, there you go. And that's very notorious <laughs> with our X marks. So, beautiful on, on the um, Skag Velocity Plus deck, like I said, whether you have it on this V-Ride 2, or the Turf Tiger, or the Tiger Cat, or the Cheetah, the deck is the deck. They it's all have the same deck. velocity deck. Perfect. So what else but we this got? this deck is also, well, I just want to show you, it's maybe tough to see in the, in the light on the camera. Sure. This is a tri-plate deck. So tri-plate, we have this top plate, we have the deck plate, and there's another plate like this that's underneath, all welded together. Okay. And if I cut a hole right here, that is almost a half inch thick. Wow. It is really reinforced. That's durable. Very cool. Okay. So that's a Velocity Plus deck. Now I can go over some of the things that have changed from V-Ride 1 to V-Ride 2. I was going to say, a lot of folks want to know what's the difference between the 1 and 2. And the 1, from what I've seen all the videos, it stripes beautifully. Uh, a lot of folks love it. It's been a, a great go-to mower for a lot of people. It has. And that is, again, the stripe and everything you just talked about, yes. that Velocity Plus deck. Is that right? So the, some of the things that we have changed from the from the V-Ride 1 to the V-Ride 2. Okay. The front axle here, the front, this is now replaceable. So if you, if you did whack something, you had to replace it, you can unbolt it, service it, or replace it. On the original V-Ride, it was all part of the frame. Okay, very cool. The whole lift mechanism now is changed from the V-Ride 1 to the V-Ride 2. We had threaded rods here. It just says change, easier, easier to lift. Gotcha. And speaking of the lift, we use on the V-Ride 1, it had a lever over here that yes. you lift with your left hand. Okay. Now you lift with your right hand and it's raised. Okay. Got rid of the cotter pin. The key is built right into the tab here. Quarter inch increments for your height. What do we go from two to? Go from an inch and a half. Okay. To four and a half. Beautiful. All right. 23 inch tires. 23 inch tires. Yeah. Is this an upgrade from the last? Uh... Yeah. Tires were much smaller on the original V Ride. From the just from watching everybody's videos, like at length, I, I can tell some of the differences. Yeah. And that's awesome. The bigger tires, more traction, more stability. Larger tank, battery box, easy access. That's awesome. Some of the things that uh, also on back here, you know, a serviceability out in the field. Yes. So, um, well, the, this whole tower is much wider okay. than um, than was on the the original V ride. Okay. The original V ride, smaller tower, had a little stick shift. The operator presence control was was here. You okay. Pull the lever down. Yep. The operator presence control now is down in the foot plate. Oh, okay. So the operator has to be on, but you're right over the axle. Okay, okay. That's the key pivot point when it comes to zero turns. Yes. So back to the tower, much wider, raise and lower here. Um, the pad, you really lean into it now. Okay. The original V-Ride, you stood more straight up. Yep. Much more comfortable. Sure. Now with serviceability is everything. We all know that yeah. things are gonna break. We have to make sure that we have access to things. Just that easy, no tools needed. Take this whole pad right on off. Beautiful. You can see what the drive is. Okay. So we're using, we went from 10cc pumps to 12cc pumps. Okay. 
We also included fans now on them, keep the, the debris blown off, gotcha. and make them run cooler. So we had, because we've got the, the fans now, we were able to get rid of the hydro cooler. Oh, gotcha. Which was a little tough to get at. Okay, okay. Um, also back here for serviceability, notice no tools. So if you need to get to your dump valves, mm -hmm. and that happens sometimes, so your dump valves are right here. Just crack them, it'll relieve your pressure yep. out of the hydros, and you can freewheel it. That's beautiful because I just got my lawnmower stuck and I forgot to release my hydros in the mud. Yeah. Everybody was giving me crap. Could be expensive <laughs> repair. Absolutely. Hey, I never awesome. said I'm perfect. I'm learning. <laughs> Serviceability. Okay. This right here, this will drain your entire hydro system. Hydro filter, Underneath. easy access right here. Gotcha. I have to say, I like that it's uh, nice and orange and beautiful and clean, but I am definitely going to get this dirty over the next 72 hours. <laughs> I was joking with Rich that uh, I'll let him know in uh, about two or three days whether or not I like the mower because we're going to cut about 100 lawns in the next two or three days and um, put it to its paces. So uh, this thing is awesome. I am very excited about testing this bad boy out. A lot of you guys have been uh, asking me to demo more mowers on our channel and we're going to have Gravely, Husqvarna, uh, Skag, and a lot of these guys have a lot of mowers we're going to be making sure that we come uh, back and forth with and try to do some side-by-sides as well with some comparisons. Again, I'm not the authority but guys let's be honest with you when you're dropping 10 12 15 thousand dollars you want to make the best uh, decision you can with your investment uh, because honestly this is hard-earned money this is uh, you know a, a major investment for a lot of us small business owners so I always appreciate videos like this I want to take the time and the energy to try to throw some stuff out there for you guys maybe you're not a big X mark fan you're looking at other brands so I just wanted to weigh in just for what it's worth give you guys my two cents and let you guys know how I like it what else we got rich anything else well, you one can... of the things that you're gonna find on skags that you know all moving parts okay grease and oil is cheap we're all about greasing amen so you got pivot points here pivot points here easy access to get to yep for greasable how many fittings do we have on this guy like oh uh, you got six three on the caster okay right the two here okay two for here on your you know run flats are standard on here okay and uh incidentally these bearings here yep again they are a tapered bearing not a ball bearing okay now 23 horsepower engine i most stand-ons that i've seen are 14, 18, 21, uh, a little bit, is this a different engine from the V-Ride uh, 1 or is it the same engine? Um, well, we still use Kawasaki and we use some Kohlers. Okay. And we use Kawasaki, our, our carbureted. Yep. The Kohlers are all the fuel injected. Okay. So if somebody wanted to buy a, uh, a 61, okay. the biggest engine, we put a 29 horse Kohler EFI. Get get out of here. If you're not the Kohler EFI fan, yeah. no problem, we got you covered on Kawasaki. Very cool, okay. Very, what's uh, What seems to be the most popular so far? You know what, it's... Personal preference? Personal preference. Okay, okay. Personal preference. I, I think they're both good, yeah. but you know what, all honesty, they've all had their turn in the barrel. Yeah, <laughs> amen, amen. Now, a uh, question I have for you is uh, this panel, from what I understand, is this not different with the, the technology up on the top? Yes, the, I want to talk about the, the Tiger Eye for just a moment. Yeah, Tiger so Eye. So this, this Tiger Eye has been incorporated in, in the, the Turf Tiger 2, okay. and also the Cheetah and the Tiger Cat 2. Okay, okay. And, and what it has done is as it's gotten rid of all the relays, and it's pretty much a, a self-diagnostic unit so a little tough in the sunlight here yeah when I turn the key on all four of these need to be lit up all right for the unit to start okay. as you can see maybe that this one's not lit up but as soon as we put somebody on here oh that's sure all four light up okay. you can start it no kid and the other nice thing about it maybe somebody is standing on there but it, it doesn't light up you can already know that you know what something's going on with that there switch you so there you can you get go. at it Easy to diagnose. Sh shows our meter, it shows your voltage, okay. shows your oil. Um, on the diesel, it have glow plug, liquid cooled units. It, um, on the Tiger Cat or the Turf Tiger 2, it'll show water temperature. Okay. So everything is built into the dash just like on a vehicle. Very cool. Now this is exclusive to Skag? Yes, it is. Very cool, okay. I like the um, the plate here with the, uh, it's just like it's CNC'd out right here. It says Skag, uh, that's yeah. sharp. I mean, it's a little touches like that, you know? It's, it's got to look good too, right? You know. I, I agree. If it's it's like curb appeal. Yeah, it's got to be somewhat a thing, you know, absolutely. I like the battery compartment. This is very uh, easy access. I'm very, uh, I, I appreciate stuff like that. So, very cool. Now, how wide are these tires? Uh, 12 inches? These, these are, these are um, 23 12 12s. Okay. 61 is 24 12 12s. Now, this deck is a 52? This is a 52. Okay. Look at that. 
So how do you feel with the your personal experience? You've used them. You've uh, obviously probably cut grass enough with them to demo them or on your personal property. What's your opinion so far? How, how have you liked the V uh, Ride Two compared to the V Ride One? Well, the V Ride Two just rides so much different. The V Ride One was nice, but that's yeah. what that's what we had, so you got used to it. Yep. But you know what? When as soon as the V Ride Two came out and sat next to it, yeah, it really made the other look so. So Quite antiquated, archaic. yeah, antiquated. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There was a lot, you know. Like, granted, there were there was a lot going on on the dash. Sure. It's really simplified it. It really simple, and the ride is much nicer. Absolutely. Much nicer ride. What about the fuel tank capacity? Fuel, fuel tank is uh, much larger. Eight okay. gallon, eight gallons now of fuel. Okay. Is it a combined tank or just one tank? Just one tank. Okay. And one then this, uh, we got a gauge. Got a gauge on it. Some uh, some mowers don't even have gauges. It bothers me. That's that's <laughs> true. You you find out when you run out. Unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. And it's always on the back side of the property. Amen. Yeah. So it's like, isn't that. The, yeah. the, the furthest away from the truck as always right guys so no this is uh this is very very nice i like i said i'm excited about testing it out putting it through its paces um i, I mean honestly i've heard nothing but good things about skag the, the skag folks the the v-ride uh so many different youtubers use them and have uh, just made them very popular obviously outside of the sales and everything that you guys do so no this is uh, awesome hey one other thing i want to show you is uh the, the parking brake okay so the parking brake is um kind of a Oh, I got you right down here. Right to here. Okay. It's just a tire lock. Yep. It's not a band brake. But more importantly, when the parking brake is on, it locks the hydros. Really? So to release the hydros, you can see this lever coming down on both sides. Okay. That releases the hydros. Oh. So you want to... So it's not just Brake, a wheel lock. It's, no, it's the hydros are locked as well. No kid, I have not seen that. That's is that exclusive? If you don't mind me asking, because that's uh, some that pretty that's some pretty cool technology. Good for you guys. That I don't know. <laughs> well, that's that's still a really sharp feature. I'll tell you that. Uh, very cool. Okay, no kid. Beautiful. Let's see what else we got. Hey guys, I really appreciate uh, Rich stopping by and uh, dropping it off and doing a quick walk around. I, obviously, uh, if you guys are a huge Skag person, you know way more about this more than I do. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I am a big x guy, like I said, but I am very excited about putting this to the test over the next uh, couple of days, uh, seeing how it cuts side by side. I have some properties I've already done. I want to uh, do some comparisons with my mower and this mower over the next few days. So if you guys want to see anything specifically, uh, leave a comment down below. If there's anything you guys want me to cover or highlight, certain things you want me to do with the lawnmower, maybe uh, different field testing, stuff like that, different ideas you guys have, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna watch the comments uh, very uh, closely, so that way I can do another video while I have the demo, because uh, Rich has taken a lot of time and energy to put this all together, and so are the Skag folks, and so I wanna make sure I really respect their time, and not only that, respect your guys' time, so if there's specific yeah. questions you guys have, um, definitely leave me a comment, and that way I can get back with Rich. He's been just great with communication, and so are the Skag folks. So let us know if there's anything that we can do to help you guys uh, make an informed choice, whether you're a, a Skag fan or not, just let us know and leave those comments down below. So uh, Rich, anything else you want to add? I think that's it. You know, the brother, you guys that are using Skag, thank awesome. you for your business. The ones that haven't, you know what? Check them out. Check it out. Try it. You know what? You don't know until you try. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to put this thing through its paces. Is that fair enough? That's fair enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear this thing up. I can't promise it's going to look as clean when I give it back, <laughs> but uh, I, I signed all these little papers that said that I have to pay for it. Right, Rich? No. There you go. <laughs> so, all right, brother, cool. Well, if you guys enjoyed this one, shoot it a big thumbs up. More videos to come. Uh, we might include some mowing footage on this vlog. We'll find out here in a second. But if you guys enjoyed it, shoot a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I'm always doing product reviews and equipment testing and stuff like this to help you guys out with your lawn and landscape business. So I appreciate the time. We'll catch up with you guys here on the next one. Over and out. Be safe. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.
tank. Is it? Yeah, this thing is sweet. Or yeah, you want to do it? No, you're up. All right, you're on deck. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Uh, right down here. Safety first, gotta have the head cans. Skag B ride two. Gotta love the smell of fresh cut grass. This is actually a pretty sweet lawnmower. Uh, I'm curious to know if you guys run Skags or what do you guys like? Leave a comment down below. The stripes are looking real nice. Mike likes to keep his lawn a little bit taller, but uh, when I cut mine during the rest of the week, we'll be dropping it down to just around three inches, but uh, we'll get some nice, you know, deep lines in there, some cut grass. Just a bunch of kids having fun with lawnmowers, right? <laughs> hey, I appreciate the support of the channel, guys. Uh, like I said, just trying to do, uh, do some other reviews for you guys. Talk to you a little bit more about lawnmowers this year. Last year was a lot about blowers, but dude, check it out, Skag V Ride 2 on Brian's Lawn Maintenance channel. You guys know who would do a really good review on this? Alex Leica, because he uses stand-ons, right? The Vantage. Do we have to give it back? <laughs> do we have to give it back? I don't know. <laughs> that thing is sweet, man. Yeah, it is sweet. It's, uh, it's fast. Very fast. It's uh, the big, the bigger tires, the pumps, very um, responsive. This is much smoother than yep. the standards I've been on before. I was just saying, you know much who would do a good review? Leica. Oh yeah. Because he runs Vantages all yeah, day. Yeah, he does. He has one. So he would uh, he would really appreciate something he like this. He has one. The um, cushion. Wow. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Yeah, considering uh, like my Z spray has a cushion, yep. but yep. not nearly. It's like a oh, third gosh, of the no. thickness, and it's just a pad. This Maybe is, two inches. This is yeah. like five, four or five inches. I I could lean against that all day. Did you Did you notice your feet hanging off? Mine were because of our aerator. Oh you, yeah. With my XMIC aerator, I keep my feet off. Okay. I I guess I didn't notice that as much. I was more overcome by the comfort and the fact that you can go fast on this. Did thing. you ride like this, or were you ride like this? Yeah, maybe my feet were farther back. I think mine were like this hanging over. You know what I mean? Just from the aerator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if that's how you ride your aerator. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. You kind of have to because the aerator is. It's, there's no. Unless you got like you small little feet. You can't tuck your boots in. No. There's a, it's flat. Yeah. Because that's where the access panel is. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you've got like size sixes, you're, yeah. you're hanging off. Dude, for sure. This thing is sweet, man. It's off. I, I was going full tilt and it. It looks really nice. It did a nice cut. And you keep yours tall and it's still striped. Yep. Yeah, I mean, most people keep it three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. at four and a quarter? Yeah, this we could have four, four and a quarter, and it still did a good job. Yeah, looking sharp. Well, it's, it's pretty long, though, so if you cut it shorter, it would have been been not, not fun. It's tough, too, though, because of uh, the sunlight right now. It's, yeah, uh, it doesn't really show it as well. Yeah, it's a tough time of the day. Cool. Verdict so far? I like it. I think it looks pretty sweet. I like it. It was just a quick demo that I got from Weingarts and Weingarts. it did the yeah, it did the job, but yeah. This is Gosh, sweet. this is sweet. I like the pad. Yeah, that's comfy. 
I mean, the comfort's everything for me. You know, I got like the extra seat like you did, you know? And when they came out with that with Xmark, clutch. You spent a lot of time on your mower, so you need it to be comfortable. 100, 110%. Otherwise, you're going to feel it every, every, every day. Uh, the same thing with the operated platform. When you're on your knees and you're in your feet, and then you're trimming and stuff and walking, this, that, that operator comfort is everything. This spring-loaded platform absorbed a lot. Yeah, this is it's fast. Sweet. All right, man. We'll, uh, we'll wrap this little uh, demo and test. We'll go back to the regular scheduled video. 5.6 hours. Brand spinking new. Sweet.